Hey guys, so I apologise that my April favourites is a few days late this month. Um, as some of you might know who follow me on Instagram, um, Mike actually broke his hip while running the London Marathon, if you can believe it. Um, I'm not laughing at him, I'm in the situation, I'm laughing at how ridiculous that sounds and how ridiculous it is but he did and he had to have an operation um he's better and thank you for all of your messages on instagram because you're all legends um but it's been a busy week uh and yeah very unanticipated kind of turn of events anyway uh april favorites what i've been loving this month i've got three products two fashion bits and then two like tv shows so first of all, for the beauty bits, the first one is something that I did a full review on last week, which was the Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Tint. And I've been using this more since I did that review and first impressions. If you guys haven't seen that already um, and you wanna know more, definitely go and watch it. But I mean, spoiler alert, I really love it. And actually using it more makes me realize how much I love this. It's really overpriced it's 48 pounds um and it comes in unnecessarily like bulky packaging and it also has a brush with it that also you don't need because this is best applied with your fingers i have soon discovered a lot of you commented that on the video said try it with your fingers and you you lose you use a lot less product as well when you do that was when you you use the brush you end up using more because it obviously gets sucked into the brush anyway i'm wearing this today this is the nicest base, if you want something that's like super sheer but like super glowy and gorgeous, it makes your skin look really fresh. If you have anything to cover up, you'll either need to use a concealer or this isn't for you. Um, it's, it has very, very minimal coverage, extremely light coverage, but it's just so glowy. It lets your skin kind of show through and then you can cover up any of the... Um, anything you want to cover up with concealer and I like that like I think that's probably the more the way you should look at foundation instead of like a full-on mask although I do like high coverage every now and again um but yeah this is really nice I went for the shade medium which is definitely I mean look at it it's definitely darker than you would have said for me but it's actually quite because it's so sheer it almost gives you a little bit of a bronze base as well which is really nice and I think coming into summer this will be just a perfect product it doesn't have SPF sadly um but it's really, really nice. And it wears quite well, which I was surprised at, because normally this kind of product, you're like, mm, it's gonna disappear off my skin in five seconds. It doesn't, it actually wears really nicely, and I really like it. Next up is a kind of primer. It's actually a serum, but it's like a serum primer, or it's marketed as a serum primer. It's from Becca, and it is their Glow, El Glow Elixir. It's called Glow Nectar Brightening Hydra Complex. I've been using this pretty much every day. As the name would suggest, it's a brightening um, serum. It's really, really cooling and refreshing and moisturizing. It leaves your skin feeling super smooth and just looking really glowy without any makeup on top of it. So it's a really nice kind of base in general. Um, I also find this really hydrating. I got sent one of these ages ago and I didn't try it because of the way it smelt. Um, it's very, very highly fragranced. It actually smells nice, but it's extremely highly fragranced for skincare and it kind of put me off like it smells like a smoothie <laughs> super fruity i was a bit like mm, i'm not so sure about that um and then i was recently working with becca for some content on their um account on their instagram account and i tried this and i was instantly like wow this is amazing and i've been using it ever since then and i really really rate it it's really nice um so that is the becca glow elixir makes for a lovely base for makeup as well it's very smooth it's not like sticky or heavy it's just gorgeous and then my third favorite this month is the pixie on the glow multi-use moisture stick and this is an extension of the um, glow tonic range i actually spoke about this in a new in a couple of months ago and i've been using it loads i've actually pretty much exclusively been using it on my lips however um i'm going on a couple of trips over the next month and i'm definitely going to be using this um, on the plane, on my skin, um, on my hands and everything because it's just a really gorgeous texture. It's a balm but it's not like overly greasy. You know most products that you would see in a stick like this you would think like oh god that's going to be super greasy but it just works really nice. You could use it on your hands, on your lips, on your face. It says on your hair. I'm yet to try that but I really like it. It's a lovely texture as a lip balm. It's kind of a crazy packaging for a lip balm but because it's multi-use it kind of makes sense. So it's basically a solid moisturizer um, and it's 
got glycolic acid in it so it's moisturizing and also like resurfacing as well um it's got antioxidants um and it's just really like it's a lightweight formula for a stick like it's still quite um it's still a balm in texture but like i don't have a greasy ass hand now you know what i mean so yeah love that two fashion favorites this month the first one is a very old one this is my levi's denim jacket that if you follow me on instagram you will know i've been wearing this basically every day um i love this jacket so much it's the perfect cut i believe it's their classic trucker jacket that they always sell um but it is just i just love the cut of this mine is personalized they actually did this for me three years ago at coachella and it's just it's like the only denim jacket i will ever need in my life i think i love it so much it's distressed it's like a um overwash denim but i wear it all the time it's a really like relaxed i'm gonna try it on and show you but it's a really relaxed kind of um it's kind of like a boyfriend cut and when i first got it i was like oh, i don't know if this is a little bit too like boxy but actually i really like it because it makes if you're wearing like dresses or anything it makes them look a little bit less kind of dressy um i really like it i love the the color of the wash and everything um so yeah that has been a favorite for ages but particularly this month i've been wearing it like non-stop um along with my leather jacket that i always wear all the time i basically have those two jackets when it's not super cold and i'm wearing a coat i have my leather jacket and my denim jacket and i just wear them on repeat um and then the other thing that i have been wearing pretty much every day this month are my trainers i picked these up probably about six weeks ago um from bista village they are golden goose so they're like golden goose i have this weird relationship with this brand my sister has been obsessed with these trainers for years like when they first came out she was like they're amazing they're amazing they're amazing i was like they are so ridiculously overpriced i was like i will never pay for a pair of trainers that are yeah so now i have two pairs however this pair is so much better it's still the superstar my other pair are also superstar but they're leather these are like gray suede and if anyone doesn't know this brand they are made to look distressed i haven't like trashed these trainers in six weeks like i've actually taken really good care of them um but they're made to look super super distressed so they're like gray um distressed suede and then they have the white leather panels there and then they have the um it's almost it's like perforated leather or yeah perforated coated suede i would say on the side and then they stitch in the pattern um with the three hearts and the star i love these like i said super expensive for what they are but actually so comfortable and i've got so much wear out of them i'm definitely switching more to the camp of buying things that will last in your wardrobe and buying things that are like investment pieces that will last for years um both from a sustainability point of view but both also from a quality point of view like um i would rather wear or like own nicer things and wear them loads of times and really love them and like invest something like in in something that i love rather than buying like 10 pairs of converse or whatever over the years so um love these the one thing i would say is that the black or the black laces are really unusual for golden goose normally they have like white laces or they have leopard laces things like that i have never seen ones with um the black laces with the white i love it but there's a little bit of transfer because it's suede maybe this is why they're in bista but to be fair you, you can't see it when you're wearing them you can only see it when you when you take them off so i've been wearing those pretty much every day this month and i love them so you'll have seen those probably loads on my instagram as well and then lastly two tv shows that would be for two tv shows that i've been loving game of thrones obviously um love game of thrones if you guys saw my vlog from the premiere a few weeks ago and also just the trip to ireland which was incredible um disclaimer sky atlantic invited me on that trip and it was a press trip but i've loved game of thrones for the whole time it's been out i think i actually maybe i discovered it after season one was finished just before season two was about to air so like i was late to the party in that sense but i've loved it for like a long time um and this season so far omg if you haven't seen it already i'm not going to do any spoilers but i love i have loved all three episodes so far i think they're brilliant except for episode one being too short which oh well what can you do episode three was really long um i've loved it i think it's brilliant and i also love how they're really championing female characters as well female characters in it are doing such badass things except for sansa i really want sansa to die am i alone in feeling that i just don't like her character just don't like her 
don't know is that controversial um anyway so game of thrones awesome loving it um and then my other favorite tv show ha oh, i don't know where my brain where my brain went oh, then my other favorite tv show is a netflix show called black summer which is a zombie series and i i think it came out at the beginning of april and i don't know why it took me so long to watch it but i recently um watched i binge watched the whole series in two nights and i actually really really enjoyed it like i thought i don't think the trailer like really did that much for me and i am a long-standing die-hard zombie fan a lot of people don't know this about me um i actually surprised one of my really good friends the other day um by telling her that i was going to a zombie experience event which my family bought me for my 30th birthday do i talk i feel like if you watch my vlogs religiously you might know this but i feel like it might surprise some of you as well um i have been super into zombies um zombie films zombie games all of that ever since um my brother used to play resident evil when he was a teenager and i was like 10 i used to sit and watch is that weird um and be really terrified i just yeah really into zombie films um so i don't know why it didn't appeal to me but i started watching it out of desperation the other day when i had nothing to watch and it was so good it was it's kind of like that balance of so good and so bad at the same time because some of the characters in the show are so dumb you, you know when you're shouting at the tv like don't do that you idiot like like what like the most like idiotic like zero common sense people but i guess that's realistic that's what would really happen if the world got invaded by zombies like you would have the people that just didn't have a clue how to survive um there's one particular episode where the guy with the curly hair if you've watched it it's like you're literally like what are you doing what are you actually doing um but that's kind of what makes it great as well because it's so suspenseful and they put themselves into these really dumb situations that if you've watched a zombie film you just wouldn't do because you know if you've watched the walking dead you just wouldn't do it because maybe that's what it is because the walking dead they're such badass characters at this point they've survived for so long that they know what they're doing maybe that's it maybe that's like i'm just comparing it to walking dead and how kind of amazing the characters in that are um anyway so yeah really good and i would recommend it and if you are into the walking dead and you like are up to date and you want to get more of a fix you can binge watch it on netflix um that is it for my favorites video i hope you guys are having a great day a great week i will see you very soon sorry the videos have been a little bit thin on the ground for the past couple of weeks i did a week where i uploaded four videos in one go and then it's been like one video a week for the next few weeks um like i said life got in the way um and mike is on crutches for six weeks so a lot of my time he's actually he's gonna go back to work next week but he um he's working from home at the moment so he literally can't really do much in terms of like get up and help with the dogs and help with all the stuff that he normally does he can't pick up river things like that so um my time is a little bit less <laughs> my my days are a little bit busier let's just put it that way um <laughs> and he's not gonna be driving for two months either which living rurally where we live is a nightmare like he can't just hop on the tube or the bus so um yes it's gonna be fun um i hope you guys are having a great week anyway and i will see you soon bye